Hey, what's up, guys? Ara here, and welcome back to the episode of my F1 2019 Manager Career Mode here, most Sport Manager for round number eight, the German Grand Prix. If you guys did miss the previous one, then be sure to go check that one out before you see this one at the British Grand Prix. Uh, that was a mixed bag result. Obviously, Ricardo, spoiler alert, had his engine failure. At the end, we pushed him a little bit too hard, but, you know, sometimes you, you have to just send it, and we did, and it didn't work out. It bit us back. But Holcomer got a decent enough result there. And after that, at the end of the episode, we talked about going forward now. We're, you know, just about nearly halfway through the season now. Now's the time to maybe spend some money on some risky parts. Once this gearbox is made, which will take 28 days, so a bit of a while... But once that's done, we're going to make some risky parts because the base stat of the car, the highest base stat, no matter what the part, that will be the basis of next year's base car. So if we get that as high as possible, uh, I think that will be the plan for us because we don't really need to actually have parts that are going to improve our car that we can use, you know, uh, i.e. parts that aren't risky right now because we are kind of in a bit of a no man's land in terms of the championship in third place there. Red Bull, you know, they, they've got the pace. They're still better than us on paper uh, car-wise. We're still the fourth best team and hopefully we can improve on that for next season. But uh, their drivers just aren't, you know, really performing too much in the races and even in qualifying as well. So we're kind of left in this kind of uh, weird state in third place, which I, I think we don't need to worry about a little bit too much. Much. Almost we're, you know, kind of playing it like, you know, some teams have done in the past in real life Formula 1, you know, fast at the beginning. And we might get a little bit slower towards the end uh, if Red Bull start to catch us up. But I think we have enough points potentially to, to still maintain P3. So I think that's going to be the plan is making risky parts from now on, trying to get the boost, uh, the, the, the kind of base stat up as much as we can, boost that as much as we can. And at the same time, trying to save some money. Because remember, we have a lot of this money, but all of it's going to go to the new car. So it seems like a lot right now, 33 million. But that is pretty much all going to be pushed into the new car. And so next season, we, we won't actually have too much money to play with. So may as well play it safe right now and save as much as we can. Especially because we, we've got a lot of good sponsors, obviously, right now backing us. That gives us a lot of money per race. Um, so that's going to be the plan then. So we move through, uh, through the emails. Uh, Vettel won. The uh, uh, British Grand Prix, obviously. Uh, but Ricardo claimed the brakes seems to be holding the team back. I'm going to go for we need investment in MHQ. That's not going to actually affect the morale at all of our chairman. So he's happy. Uh, the pit crew, a lot of them are now 2.7. So although these guys aren't as good on the pit stop, we're going to have to swap them in. Because otherwise we're going to have too many mistakes on the pit stop. So don't need to worry about the fixing. These guys can rest up. Actually, you know what? I want to rest this dude because he's got 17 here. going to pop that in, guy in. So we've got all these four guys now resting. So hopefully by next race, they should be okay. Higher-wise, um, a lot of these guys are actually pretty rubbish. We're going to reject this dude. That guy's good at front jacks. So we'll keep him around. This dude's not that great. He's okay, 15. 12, not that great. Reject those. So we're going to keep these two in the back pocket. We won't actually hire them, though. For now, we'll just maintain with this one. So we're going to move forward then. The gearbox is going to take 28 days. So that's going to get done probably after the German Grand Prix. So we have some time to wait, unlike the kind of wings... And the brakes we were doing before, the gearbox is a part that takes a long while uh, to really do. But meanwhile, the performance uh, work is going to get done soon enough. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, team, championship target, better than fourth place. Excellent work. All fine. All happy. And so we'll move forward through this F, uh, F3 event at Dubai. No one cares about that. Uh, move through that. I'm going to go to the performance work. Actually, I want to quickly see... What we've got going on. Just make sure, double check we've got everything the right way. Uh, so these are the best brakes. Maxim, yeah, we're improving those. The engine, yeah, we're, we're only five points off, actually. The max engine, so that's good. Uh, we have got a maximum of 970 here, so that's all fine. Uh, 80, that's one to go, one point to go. We could remove that and add on instead this suspension there. And that suspension we can add on if we've only, we've only got three. No, not even three. Two points here. So we'll remove that and add that on. So the suspension is going to be the better one to do. Um, I'll move that to 53.2 because we are going to do that on the reliability, that engine, and what else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, literally that. I'm going to go 54 one actually because it really is just that one part. So we're looking pretty damn good. So we are getting to a stage where, you know, car-wise, there's not a lot to be, you know, desired, really. It's all just going to be risky parts, and we just go about and do our business and try and do the best job we can in the races. So, speaking about that, we go to the German Grand Prix. We've got rain in the race. Clear, apparently, quality in the practice, but I suspect maybe the rain might creep into Saturday. You never know. But tyre wear is low. 
Uh, we're going to go for a fuel burns high. So since it's low and fuel burns high, we're going to go quite aggressive here. Let's go a lot of super softs right now. Only a couple of softs and then only a couple of mediums, really, like three. Yep, 843, that seems about right. Uh, the fuel will be the main thing we need to worry about. In terms of fit parts, I'm pretty sure we've got all the parts that we want added on. Yeah, I think that we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're all good there. So let's move into practice then and see how this goes. And what do you know, it's raining in practice as well. So it looks like the rain really is bleeding over everywhere. Actually, um, it looks like it's going to rain for most of the session. So this is a little odd. So we're going to have to do some setup work, but we're going to probably get a lot of Inter's knowledge, which... Might be useful in the race, actually. I don't know how useful it'll be for quality, but okay, there we go then. Right, so we'll send both our drivers out then. Uh, do a quick little setup check first, and then we'll uh, get going on the intermediates. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll have no choice. We have to get knowledge on intermediates. Whether it's useful or not, that uh, remains to be seen. I think if it is going to rain most of the session then, at least everyone's in the same boat. The entire grid will have no... Uh, meaningful slick tire running and knowledge there, but um, I mean that I know in theory makes it maybe more equal in a way But at the same time that might also favor the bigger teams. Let's see Right bring these guys in what we saying on the setup. Okay, too good and great So not amazing, but also not horrendous so we can work on that So I feel like maybe more downforce I think maybe or maybe less downforce maybe a little bit less downforce Go for, let's go for that, and then speed balance was pretty good, so I'm going to keep that where we were, and then the handling looks like maybe a bit more oversteer, just a tad, so let's see how that goes for us. And for Nico, ooh, Nico, bang on the money there, two excellence for Nico, and then just good on the speed balance, 96%, so looking very good, so just need to adjust the speed balance, so I think maybe more acceleration, perhaps, so let's go down there and tweak this so we don't change this too much. Right, there we go. That's perfect. So let's go again. I'm going to be quite confident with Nico and say we've got the setup nailed. So let's go for eight laps then and let him just do his stint. Whereas Ricardo will pull him in straight back in uh, to redo the setup. Right, Ricardo's in. Okay, that's a bit more like it. One excellent, but now two good. So we need to tweak that once again. But at least we go up 93%. So we were better on the speed balance before and we were there. So I actually need to go the other way then potentially. And go like that. That might actually be an excellent for us then. And then for good, I mean, I think maybe halfway between these two then. Like, mm, something like a uh, little, little bit like that maybe. I think that could work. So I'll go A laps and just see if we've done that. And uh, I'll sit back, relax, and watch them do their thing. It's getting a little bit drier now. We've actually got a lot, quite a lot of people on full wet tires for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, that bar at the very beginning of the session was maybe high enough for full wet, but... Now, not so much, so a bit of an odd one there. But, yeah, we'll just get the knowledge. We'll get through onto level 2, probably level 3 on Inters and level 3 in the race trim. And then, pretty much, it looks like it's going to It literally is going to rain the entire session. So, we'll go onto Inters again and just to do quality trim. So, really, we literally will have no dry tyre knowledge for this entire weekend, which is a bit of a shame, but, I mean, you can't really do much. The weather controls all at the end of the day. Right, ooh, we got speed bounce poor there for Nico. So, I went the complete wrong way then on that. He wanted a bit of a longer gearbox. So let's go back to what we originally had there and then go the other way. I'm going to go quali trim now, three laps. Same set of inters because if it is going to rain for quali and the race, I can't afford to use too many inters because uh, there's only a finite set, even less than we have super softs. Right, Ricardo, 98%. Amazing setup there. Great setup. So we're going to go to another set of inters and just go again. We're right, going to tick over there, level three on the quali, and there we go. That is pretty much it all done, because there, uh, there was maybe a tiny bit of a dry period, around like maybe seven, eight minutes, but that was pretty much it. So we've got all the knowledge we could do. We're going to quali now. Bit blind. If it rains in quali, I might not actually be too upset, because we'll have the knowledge in the inters, but also at the same time, it might be a bit of a spanner in the works for everyone if it's not raining in quali. And then we'll just see what the raw pace of the car is like around Germany. We struggled a little bit at uh, Britain in, in, in some respects. So I'll be interested to see how we do here around Germany. So let's just go to quali. Right, it is indeed raining at the start of Q1. So this might just be Q1 though. Might get a drier later into Q2. But the rain really has fully bled over into the other days. You know, it said raining on Sunday only. And then it's been raining so far the entire weekend. Right, we're going to go to take qualifying. And we're going to get going then. We're going to send them out straight away. Just get a banker lap in on that set of inters there. It's Q1. So I'll probably use the same set of inters again for a second run if we need it. Um, Because, well, oh, actually, hang on. It's not even, ooh, it's going to get dry. Let's bring them back in. Hang on, this is a wasted lap. 
It's going to get dry. Interesting. Okay. So it is very much a mixed up kind of uh, weekend here. So we're going to bring them in. There's no point actually setting a fast lap because it's going to get dry and that's going to be infinitely faster. So I may as well just sit back, relax, let them put their feet up, have a cup of coffee or tea or whatever they want in the garage. Water, probably, being athletes. And uh, just wait, wait it out for the dry uh, track to come in and the track grip to go up. So we'll send them out right at the end of the, the, end of the session giving them the best chance. For now, we're in the drop zone, but not to worry, not to worry. The sun's come out slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely, and it's now a dry track, and we can now send them out. Set of super softs, we've got so many to burn, so we'll just go ahead and use those and go on the auto uh, outlap there and uh, get them going. Got a bit of traffic for Ricardo, I think that is. Hulkenberg, he has got uh, some decent clean air, actually, on his lap, so let's see how this goes then for both of them. Obviously now a lot of people are going to the super sauce, but it's too late for some. Some people have already taken the checkered flag. Hamilton's going fastest. Right at the moment, the bo both McLarens are doing amazing. Sainz and Norris there up in third place. Here we go, though, through the last corner. One second down from Hamilton's time, but across the line, P6 there, up into Q2. Ricardo across the line, P6, even better than Hulkenberg, and both into Q2. Bob's your uncle. Very nice, actually. And, uh, ooh, a bit of a shock outing there. Once again, Leclerc and Gasly out in Q1. The Red Bull Honda Gasly, dry, uh, driver of Gasly, once again, does not do well. And Leclerc, I think that's the second time now in like three episodes, Leclerc's been knocked out. I think he got knocked out last episode in Q1, but he made a fantastic recovery, though. He, like, got up into P6, was it, from last place or whatever it was in, like, two laps. So that's not really much of an issue for him, I guess. Uh, but along with him, Russell, Kafir, and Albin out. But we're through into Q2. That's all that matters for us. And so we continue on now. And will it be running? No, it won't. Okay, so maybe now the rain stopped. Maybe there's no more rain to come in Q2 and Q3. Let's have a look at the weather indicator. Yeah, it looks like all pretty dry. So I'm going to send them out for a bank collapse straight away. And then we'll go out for a second run. Remember this tyre being the one we have to start on uh, uh, in the Grand Prix if it's going to be dry. If it, if it starts to rain at the start of the Grand Prix, then it won't matter. Right, coming through the last corner then. Those two were very close to one another, so they're kind of racing each other on the lap. So probably a little bit bad timing for me. But uh, we go across. No one's set a lap time yet, so uh, at the moment we're at P2 and uh, 3. That moves slowly down, though. And uh, Ricardo's looking a little bit slow there. Hulkenberg's done really well, but Ricardo slow. He's in the drop zone. Ricardo needs another lap there. I think the traffic didn't help that I gave him, to be honest, though, with, uh, with Hulkenberg. So that's my bad. So as these cars come in, I'm going to send them out now. And give him a nice clean lap to go on. And with Hulkenberg, I may as well send him out as well. And try and get another lap in just to see what it's going to be like. So let's send him out now. Another set of supers. I think Ricardo again, unfortunately, has some traffic there maybe. No, actually, no. It's a pretty clean track there. So let's see how this goes. Please get some clean track as we go through turn one. Yep, it's all clear. Ricardo can improve, hopefully, by quite a fair bit. It's the last final minute of the session. So this is very important. Ricardo needs to get this lap in to get to the top 10 shootout. Let's go through the last corner, across the line, and it is P6. There we go. Matches Hulkenberg's time. Good stuff there. Nico goes uh, green, green, though. So he's going better across the line. And it's an improvement of sorts, but not enough. And he remains P7. But P6, 7, that's good for us. We're through into the top 10 shootout. Norris does very well in the McLaren. The Giovinazzi and the Sauber as well to get into the top 10 shootout. And the likes of Raikkonen and Science knocked out their counterparts. Grosjean with a really good lap time. The Haas is at the moment faster than the Red Bull Honda there. Grosjean better than Verstappen. Interesting. We'll see how it goes in the top 10 shootout. But at least we're through. That's all that really matters for us. Right, top 10 shootout. And it is raining once again. So it very is uh, much a yin-yang yo-yo effect here of rain at Germany. So it's damp on track right now. But it's going to get dry. Again, it's going to be like Q1. So there is no point going out now. Even though it's only, we've only got 10 minutes, you know. You, you kind of be like, oh, okay, shouldn't we go out? No, it's fine. Confidence. Confidence in the track drying up and us getting the lap time in. You can see that track grip is going to go up. So don't need to worry about that. Right, track grip's going to go up and up and up. Let's just wait a little bit. Sit tight. We don't need to worry too much here. It's a 143 lap time. So we can afford to let them go around the three-minute mark. So let's go now. 254. We're locked onto that tyre for, uh, for the race now. Um, send him out, and we're going to send Ricardo out on that. And there we go. Track is nice and dry, nice and sunny. Do the out lap, hopefully. Not get hit with too much traffic, and hopefully this can be a pretty good lap. At the moment, Norris and Giovinazzi in P6 and 7. Let's try and get in the mix of them. Grosjean, P3, ahead of Vettel and Verstappen. That Haas is on some steroids at the moment. This Right, Hulkenberg and Ricardo both 
start their laps. Let's see. Right, four, four seconds faster there. Then a little bit down in the second sector. Let's see. Last sector, 1.4 down across the line. And it is going to be P5. Pretty decent. Norris, though, has beaten us. Ricardo across the line. P4 there. Ricardo with a much better lap time. He's improved by four tenths there. Hulkenberg with a very slow time, actually. And so, in the end, everyone across the line. And so, it's going to be Hamilton on pole. Verstappen is ahead of us in P4. Uh, Grosjean did actually eventually go slower. So, Verstappen did beat him in the end. We've beaten him, though. So, that's good. P5. Hulkenberg, though, a bit upsetting. We're only in the middle of Norris and Giovinazzi. So, again, Hulkenberg's not the best qualifier. But hopefully, in the race, he can recover. And obviously, he was the man that got us all the points at Silverstone, uh, not Silverstone, Guildford, I should say, at the British Grand Prix last time, so not too much of a worry, but uh, I'm pretty happy with Ricardo P5, but in the race, I don't know, I, I kind of want it to rain, but also not, if it rains at the start, I'll be happy maybe, because we don't need to start on Super Softs then, and then if it dries up later, so we can use a very aggressive strategy, that might be quite cool for us. Right, there's a bit of rain in the air, you can see the, the sprinkles of rain, and it is a rain indicator there, but are we going to start on the dry tyres? No, we are not. We're going to start on Inters. Unlocked setup because uh, obviously it is raining. So there we go. Oh, what did I say? Literally what I wanted. Some rain at the start so we don't have to start on those super softs. But then dries up so we can use an aggressive strategy. Right, so race. Uh, all we can do really is bring in the intermediate and race trim knowledge here, um, to be honest. So we're going to bring that in. Could go for light footed, to be honest. Less tire wear. But I mean, the rain's going to come down. Uh, it stopped coming down, I should say, in like lap 12. So that shouldn't be much of a worry. I mean, the Inters should go... That long, shouldn't they? Uh, tire choice. Yeah, there you go. They're, they're fine. Um, so for Hulkamo, though, we actually have some fuel economy, uh, level 2 fuel economy uh, perk here, which might come in handy because it did say that this was high on fuel, the German Grand Prix. So this could come in clutch. But at the same time, you know, if I use too much, if, I, if the fuel burns more slowly, I'll be very tempted to go on overtake mode quite a lot of times. And that might really wear out the engine. So we're going to have to watch out for it here. And see how we go. But I'm... Te I, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see how that goes. Right, let's get going then to the race. We need to have a good recovery from Hulkenberg at the start. Ricardo P5. Let's see if he can have another lightning getaway here. As we go to five red lights. What this German Grand Prix here. What can we do today? Starting in the rain. And then ending the dry. It's another good start there from Ricardo Up into P3. He really is great at those starts there, man. And he's now maybe yeah, having a look at the Mercs. The two Mercs are side by side. But Ricardo gets in the middle. Yes, he overtakes Hamilton. And could he go around the outside of Bottas? Not quite there as they go through the next corner. That's a bit of a different uh, layout to Germany. I didn't... Uh, the last layout of Germany I did didn't have that little chicane there. Right, going to go auto on the ERS. But we're up into P2. Hulkenberg, though. Oh, my God. He's down to P12. 11. What have you done, man? You're going so slow. This is not it. We don't need this from you. We need much better from you, mate. Down in P11. Ricardo, meanwhile, is battling Hamilton. Hamilton comes back at Ricardo for P2. I mean, fair play. The Mercedes car is meant to be that much faster. And so Ricardo down to P3. But we'll just fast forward this now. And see how we go through this opening stint here. We've got Leclerc. I should add, look at this. Leclerc is already up into P4. That is ridiculous. Leclerc was down in P18 or whatever, or 17 or 16, and he's up into P4 already ahead of Vettel, as we've now got... Oh, what is that? Oh, no! Hulkenberg hit something. I think he's I think he's hit Stroll, because Stroll's got a penalty there. We need to change for a front wing. That is not in the... That was not in the plan, Hulkenberg. That was not in the plan. Right, new set of Inters needed. We need to change that. That is going to be a shocking start to this Grand Prix, then. Fast pit stop. Hulkenberg... Oh, my God. He has to do a whole lap. He has to do a... He's, he's hit Grosjean. Not, not, he's, not, he's not hit Stroll. He's hit Grosjean, because Grosjean's also got that damage there. He's going to have to do a whole lap now with a, with a front wing damage. That is just not what we needed at all. Right, Hulkenberg comes in for a desperate pit stop here. He's not lost too many positions, though, so that's at least good. But that repair is going to take a long while. And now we're down to P19. Oh, my God. Hulkenberg, man. You're killing me. Why? I'll drive a mistake from Hulkenberg. Apparently locked up there. Lost some time. He's P16 at the moment. He's just not doing very well at the moment. Lap 6. He's in no man's land. I don't really know what the recovery drive could be. Maybe points paying positions. Like, maybe P10 at most. Meanwhile, Ricardo. He's just about hanging on to P3. Leclerc's caught him up quite rapidly here. Um, tire temps are looking okay. We're in the middle of the wet period now. 56% uh, tire wear. So we should be good to go on to dries when we want to. Uh, but I think Leclerc's coming at us pretty fast. So, oh, what is that? A driving mistake for Ricardo then as well. We're making a few mistakes here in the wet. Right, sit rep situation on lap uh, number nine. We've got a big train forming behind us as the Ferraris aren't able to get past us quite yet. But Vettel might just do that now. We're going to come back with a bit of ERS to make sure we stay ahead there. 
and uh, keep this train going. But Vettel and Leclerc very much right up our chuff. We've also got Verstappen closing up as well in P6. But for now, we're still maintaining P3 in that trap position. That's pretty damn good. And the rain is going to stop right about now. So in a lap or two's time, it will be time to come in. To say that we've got level 2 fuel economy for Hulkenberg, I have not seen much good fuel saving from him. I've had to use a lot of hybrid mode to counteract him burning fuel. So I don't know what's going on here, but he's not that fuel efficient right now. So I'm not liking the vibe right now. We're having to use hybrid mode quite a fair bit, which I don't want to. And um, at the moment, he's only P15. It's, it's not going to be a good day in the office for Hulkenberg. For Ricardo, though, this could still be a really good result. It's just about trying to keep these guys behind as best we can. And then the dry period, well, I don't know, really. No one has knowledge for the dry, so I don't know how that's going to go. But for now, we'll use some ERS, get away from these guys on this straight push away there. Doing a great job of defending Ricardo is. Right, I'm going to push flat out now, I think, on this next lap. Well, no, actually, you know what? The Mercs have come in. We should come in. Let's use all of that battery power. Going to pit in now for a set of super soft tires. There you go. Okay, let's think about this. We've got... 27 laps left, so if we just go like 13 laps, 13 laps each on, on, on super softs, that's fine, that's all good, so basically a two-stop race, uh, let's go to charge there, fast pit stop, come in, let's go, and we're going to try and get a jump on the two Ferraris, that double stack, the Ferraris double stack, so that's not going to be good for them, Holcomer, we're going to come in as well, uh, super softs for him, park condition's fine, recharge, fast pit stop, there we go, use all that charge up, right, Go back to Ricardo though, focus on him. The two Ferraris have double stats, so that's good for us. And good news for Verstappen, actually, as well. As we come out of the pit lane now, we are still in P4. Norris yet to, yet to pit. Verstappen's jumped Leclerc in the pit stop there. So that's bad news for him. Hulkenberg's out in P16, meanwhile. Uh, yep, yeah, P16 behind. That is Kibitz, so I think that is. Yep. So, right. I think the aim for Hulkenberg, if he can get in... If, he, if I can close up to Gasly... For P12. Won't be any points. But if we can close up the gas lead with Hulkenberg. I think that'll be a successful recovery drive. Right. Sir on lap 14. Ricardo's still P3. Nothing really happening for him actually. He's got some fuel to burn though. So we'll go high. Uh, meanwhile Hulkenberg is behind Giovinazzi now. He's in P13. I can see Albin up the road as well. So we're making some good progress here. But oh god. the uh, uh, Haas uses a lot of ERS there. Well let's go overtake mode here. And burn some fuel. We can use the hybrid mode later. To try and catch back up maybe. So let's try and get past the Sauber. If we can, please. Going to use some ERS into turn one. Try and really close up there in the break zone. But, oh, the Sauber also used some ERS. He's, he's doing quite well there. Strategically placing the ERS when we do as well. And meanwhile, for Ricardo, Vettel is closing up. Leclerc's overtaking Verstappen once again. So, we might have some more Ferrari pressure from us. But for now, Ricardo is doing a stunning job in this P3. He's controlling it well. Ooh, there's going to be some rain later. Interesting. We might need to go to Inters again. So we need to stretch this stint now, actually, because ideally you want to go on to into straight away and not have to make another pit stop for dry. So let's go conserve and play this long game. I want to go into Inter straight away. So let's try and make sure we can serve these tires with both these drivers. Right, Vettel's past us. He's pushing a little bit harder than us, though, I think. Um, I just did the general Ferrari pace. I think his ult is kicking in a little bit, but I think his tire wear is going to be a little, bit le uh, a little bit worse than ours, maybe. We're on 62%. He's on what? Was he on 60? Ooh, his tire was actually better still. Uh, that's just the Ferrari pace then coming in. But I definitely want to try and go to the to the wet period. I don't know if he's going to do that. So let's watch out for it. Right, sit rep lap 23 at the moment. We're on 32% wear. So uh, I, I think we can still just about make it to Inters. Bottas has pit for another set. So we're up into P3 again with Ricardo. Holkenberg's in P11. He's got past Giovinazzi eventually. He's actually you know chasing after G Gasly. So he's doing exactly what I want him to do. It really just is the question of if this risky strategy of going to the Inters is going to work out for us. I really hope it does. Because if it can, I think Holkenberg could also still get some good points here today. And Ricardo potentially jump in uh, Bottas there. Right, that 24 Bottas is closing in on us quite rapidly. He's got new tyres, of course, so I'm not surprised there. But I'm going to try my best to hold him off. But we've got 24% worn uh, on, the, on the Supers off, so I don't know. We've got one lap left as well until the rain comes down. Uh, this might just backfire on us, to be honest. I think we might need to bail on this strategy. I mean, Hamilton's pit onto Inters, so I think, honestly, I might follow him through and try that, to be honest. I, I really do, because I, I don't see how we're going to do that otherwise. Vettel, is he going to come in as well? Yeah, he's surely coming on Inters as well. So I'm going to just push in then, use all this ERS. May as well just do that and follow them through on Inters. I mean, that's the, the worst-case scenario, is it? We all just don't do well on these Inters. So we'll come in then. 
uh, on this lap. Same for Hulkenberg. We'll come in for Inters. I'll uh, we'll use this fresh set, sorry. Uh, recharge the battery. Pit strategy fast. Where is he on track then? Uh, he's, oh, he's on the back straight. So let's use the ERS here. Let's go overtake mode and attack. Same for Ricardo as he comes in. Right, Rick Bobby in. Bottas continues on. We're on to Inters. Hopefully a good pit stop there. No mistakes, good stuff. Recharge and push, push, push. And we're going to go nice and easy on this tyres, though, on the outlap because obviously it's not even wet yet. So we need to watch out for that. Same thing for Hulkenberg. Good pit stop there. No dramas. Go auto. Go nice and conservative on the outlap because it's not raining yet. So I don't want to overheat the tyres too much there. But uh, hopefully the rain comes down fast enough. And oh, Hamilton's crashed. Hamilton's crashed on the Inters. Uh, the, the wet tire on the dry track has made him make a mistake. I think that signals for us. We, knew, we, knew, we need to go conserve. Well, I don't want my drivers making the same mistake and spewing off the road because they're trying to go too fast on these uh, wet tires on the dry track. So take it nice and easy there. Going to use the fuel, though, to counteract the pace. But just easy does it. You know what? Let's go back up. You know, really wait for the rain to come down. Right, it's coming down now. It's looking good. It's, it's looking better. Let's go push now. Go back to pushing. And let's, uh, let's, let's start doing some stuff here. Let's start going a little bit fast. Let's use some hybrid mode and start really pushing these cars. At the moment, Ricardo P3, Bottas P2, and Vettel 1. So to be fair, Vett I was upset Vettel overtook me. He's leading the Grand Prix now. So I got overtaken by the race winner probably. Uh, and now I'm going to go auto back again because we've done enough of hybrid mode on that. And for Hulkenberg, we can also take that off hybrid mode. And let's continue to push on there. He's P9, so he's back in the points. He's overtaking Gasly. I'd say that's a pretty good recovery, saying he crashed on lap one or two, whatever it was. So, I mean, it was his own fault anyway, but still. Right, situation lap 31. I completely missed it, so apologies. I completely missed when Vettel pit again. He apparently did, because he's in P3 now. Uh, I'm actually going to quickly look at the data center. When did he pit? Where is Vettel? Let's have a look. Oh, he pit on lap 29, so he literally pit two laps ago. My bad, I completely missed that. I was focused too much on Hulkenberg right now, because he's got a lot of fuel. Uh, his, his automatic ERS is just giving him hybrid mode, so he's actually catching P8. He's catching Raikkonen, so he's doing really well. But yeah, somehow we're in P2 now with five, uh, six laps to go. I'm not sure if we can hold on to this, because uh, Vettel will have faster tyres. But fuel-wise, we're looking really great for Ricardo. So let's see. You never know if uh, he can defend as well as he did before in the first stint. He might actually bag an amazing P2 here. And Hulkenberg might just recover up into P8 if we're lucky. Oh, Vettel closes in with a lot of ERS. We're going to use some ERS back and try and push away. He's used a lot there. We're going to have to really play this tactically. Whenever he uses ERS, we need to as well. Because this is very close. Very, very close. We've got four laps left remaining as well. Hulkenberg is really shooting those tyres. Need to watch out for that. Right, Vettel closes again. Let's keep an eye on this. Right, continue on. When does he use some ERS? No, not yet. He's going to use on the back straight, I think. He's going to use ERS now. I'm ready to pull the trigger if I need to. If I need to. Nope, all good still. All good. Go auto again. Continue on like this, mate. Worn tyres, apparently, for Ricardo. That's fine. Keep going, mate. Keep going. I don't think Vettel has too much ERS left in the tank, to be honest. And we have some to play with. We've got two laps left remaining. We're going hybrid mode. Uh, let's take that off, please. I want I want to save I want to save ERS. Let's not go hybrid anymore. We don't need hybrid anymore. We're fine. Engine's a little bit worn. <laughs> uh, that's a familiar sight. We've got two laps left, though, so we should be fine. Someone who does need to go hybrid mode is Hulkenberg, though. Right, we've got literally a lap and a bit left to go, and Vettel is right up our chuff. We definitely need to use some ERS, maybe, on this back straight coming up here because he's so, so close there. He's really up our chuff. Use a bit of ERS there. Get away from him. We'll save 13% charge. Keep it going, mate. Keep it going. Meanwhile, for Hulkenberg, we're good. Take that off. Hybrid mode. We'll go overtake mode. Gasly's closing up on us quite a fair bit there. So instead of overtaking Raikkonen for P8, we have to try and defend a little bit for P9. This is close. This is close. We also need to go hybrid mode with R uh, Ricardo now because he's also used too much fuel there. Oh, come on. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Let's do this. Please, please, please. Right, last lap of the Grand Prix. We've got the fuel back in check a little bit with these two guys. We've got some ERS to alter burn on the last <laughs> little straight here. Vettel's right up our off. This is to maintain P2. Let's use some ERS here on the back straight. Push away. Ooh, 1% left. 1% left. A little bit of charge. We've got overtake mode here on the last lap. Keep it going, mate. Keep it going. Keep it going. Meanwhile, Hulkenberg is still maintaining uh, P9. Where is he on the, on the lap there? Right, I need to watch out for him. Use some ERS for him as well on that back straight. But we keep it going here. Oh, a little bit close. Oh, a little bit marginal fuel. A little bit marginal fuel. Save some fuel. Hybrid mode to save some fuel right at the end there. There we go. Thank the Lord. Right, a little bit left. 
Keep it going, mate. Keep it going. Last bit. ERS on the last on the last straight there. We are hopefully going to come through for P2. It's great. Use the ERS for Holcomo then as well. Where on earth is he? I don't know. Where is he? He's, he's, he's maintaining P9, I think. I think he should be good for it. He should be fine for it, lads. So P2, absolutely amazing stuff there for Ricardo to fend off Sebastian Vettel. Great stuff there. But beating both Ferrari cars in that race. And Holkenberg, great recovery. P9 there. Good stuff. I think that's a pretty solid day in the office there. P9, fair play. I mean, you made the mistake of crashing Hulkenberg, but still fair play for recovering that much. All right, so the silver trophy off the German Grand Prix. And so we're in P4 in the Drivers' Championship ahead of Leclerc still. Hulkenberg maintains P6. Vettel is in the lead of the Drivers' Championship now after that DNF from Hamilton. So that's a big deal for the Drivers' Championship. Constructors, Merck still lead the way. We're still P3, though, and we get ever more away from uh, Red Bull. I'm actually close up a little bit on Ferrari, of course, because we beat Ferrari with Ricardo there as well. So all in all, a fantastic episode. New unlock with Ricardo. The sweetest spot, the green sweet spot in qualifying, is much bigger, giving the driver an excellent chance of optimizing their brake and tire temps. That's uh, good to see. 1.8 million in then. Good stuff. Obviously, a bit of cost came out for the gearbox. I think that was maybe. And so, all in all, a very fun and successful German Grand Prix. A little bit tense at the end there, but we made it work. We were very clever and methodical with the planning of the hybrid mode and the ERS usage. And we were able to successfully defend against Sebastian Vettel, the now championship leader for P2 there. So, very happy with that. If you guys did enjoy it as well, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new, I do subscribe for weekly Fortnite content. I've been Arifa. I'm enjoying your day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.